फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज नितिन एंड आई एम बैक विद न्यू इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो फॉर यू टूडे देर वॉज ए हाईली एम्बिशियस प्रोग्राम इंडियन गवर्नमेंट स्टार्ट इन नाइनटीन एटीज एट दैट टाइम इंडियन एयरफोर्स वॉज यूजिंग ओवर एट हंड्रेड फ्लाइंग कॉफेंस विच वर नियर टू देयर सर्विस लाइफ एक्सपीरियशन येस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइट कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट एल सी ए प्रोग्राम टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ द सुपरसोनिक इंडिजीनियस एयरक्राफ्ट तेजस फाइटर जैट्स वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ इंडिया इज नॉट ओनली फुलफिलिंग द होम नीड बट ऑल्सो एम्बिशियस एंड अग्रेसिवली पीचिंग इट टू अदर नेशंस फॉर एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर्स वी वुड ऑल्सो टच ऑन द एक्सटेंसिव डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल दिस प्रोडक्ट हैज गॉन थ्रू एंड नाउ शाइनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस ऑन द डिफरेंट वेरियंट्स ऑफ दिस फाइटर जेट्स we have a lot to cover today so without wasting a single second of your time let's dive into it and one more thing my friends this is a little long video but very informative so sit tight friends if you are liking my videos and finding them informative then please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel Tejas is an indigenous supersonic aircraft with a single engine and delta wings. This is a lightweight multi-role fighter jet designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center (ARDC) of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It was initially designed and developed for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy needs. In 1980s, Indian government started a program called Light Combat Aircraft. This program's objective was to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighter jets. But then later it became the part of a general fleet modernization program. In 2003 the light combat aircraft program was named Tejas by our former PM Shri Atal Bihari Vajpayee. It is the smallest and lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. The specification I am going to discuss are for Mark 1A variant. This tremendous aircraft weighs approximately 6560 kg and has a maximum take off weight is 13500 kg. It can fly at a maximum speed of 2220 km per hour and a maximum altitude of 15200 meters. This speed is calculated as 1.8 Mach. The service ceiling of this aircraft is 15200 meters and the ferry range is 3000 kilometers. The combat range of this aircraft is 739 kilometers. This supersonic fourth generation fighter jet comes with an installed GSH gun which is a 23 mm twin barrel gun that can burst firing 50 rounds per second. This aircraft can be armed with air to air air to surface and anti ship missiles precision guided munitions rockets and bombs which makes it lethal from the electronic warfare side it has warfare for targeting surveillance reconnaissance or training pods all can be equipped on the hard points it can also carry drop tanks that's not all the indian government purchased derby beyond visual range air to air missiles to incorporate on 200 of the Tejas aircrafts the derby missile can engage a target at a range of 50 kilometers electronic research and development establishment of hal have jointly developed the aircraft multi mode radar the radar has multiple target search and track while scan and ground mapping modes of operations it includes pulse doppler radar with doppler beam shaping moving target indication and look up look down capability that's enough about it otherwise you will get bored let's move on to next section there is a long journey behind this program's development it began in 1983 and is still going let's see how in 1983 the government of india established the lca project with the initial goal to develop a new light combat aircraft to replace the aging iaf fighters especially the mig 21 variants at one point the iaf had operated as many as 874 mig 21s which were approaching at the end of their service life by early 1990s 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एस्टेब्लिश दी एरोनोटिकल डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी ए डी ए टू मैनेज दी एल सी ए प्रोग्राम इन अक्टूबर नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स द प्रोजेक्ट डेफिनेशन फेज वॉज कमेंस्ड इन नाइनटीन एटी एट डिसॉल्ट ऑफर्ड ए हाइब्रिड फ्लाई बाय वायर फ्लाइट कंट्रोल सिस्टम फॉर दी एल सी ए कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री डिजिटल चैनल एंड वन एनालॉग चैनल विद अ रिडेंडेंट एनालॉग चैनल एज अ बैकअप इन केस द डिजिटल चैनल फेल्स बट द ए डी ए वॉज इन फेवर ऑफ ए क्वाड्रोप्लेक्स डिजिटल एफ बी डब्ल्यू फ्लाइट कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी द डिजाइन ऑफ द तेजस वॉज फाइनलाइज एज ए स्मॉल टेल लेस कंपाउंड डेल्टा विंग डिजाइन विद रिलैक्स स्टेटिक स्टेबिलिटी इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू ए CLAW team was set up by the National Aerospace Laboratories to develop India's own state of the art FPW flight control system for the Tejas. In 1998, Lockheed Martin consultancy was sought, but it was terminated following the US embargo in response to India's second nuclear test. This delayed the program by about 18 months. Later India indigenously developed a quadruplex digital fly by wire flight control system for Tejas. On January 2001 on its maiden flight the TD1 successfully flew an indigenous quadruplex digital FPW flight control system. In 2003 prototype testing began. In 2009 the first trainer prototype PV5 was rolled out. On 27th April 2012 the first naval prototype designated NP1 made its first flight. On December 20th 2021 Ministry of Defence in a written reply during the winter session of Rajya Sabha clarified that the Health Tejas is no longer considered as a replacement for MiG-21. Instead, it is now part of the General IAF Fleet Modernization Program. On April 10th, 2023, Hell started the third production line at its Nasik division that will increase production from 16 to 24 aircraft per year. Let's look at the production variants here. Tejas Mark 1. This is a single seat operational variant for the Indian Air Force. Total 32 of these have been delivered. Indian Air Force have inducted them into squadrons squadron 45 called as flying daggers and squadron 18 called as flying bullets. Tejas trainer. This is a two seat operational convergent trainer for the Indian Air Force. Also act as LIFT lead in fighter trainer and ground attack aircraft. The first series production trainer aircraft LT5201 completed its maiden flight on April 2023. IAF has received first LCA Tejas twin seater aircraft from Hell on October 2023. Tejas Mark 1A, an enhanced Tejas Mark 1 equipped with EL or M2052 and Uttam AESA radar, self protection jammer, radar warning receiver as well as being able to mount an XL ECM pod. It was rolled out in late 2022. Tejas Mark 2 This product has not been rolled out and is in development. Tejas Mark 2 or medium weight fighter is an enhanced Tejas Mark 1 design which is expected to have a more powerful engine and an increased payload carrying capacity. The Tejas Mark 2 will feature an AESA radar, an onboard oxygen generation system and a built-in electronic warfare suit among other improvements to avionics. In January 2019, Air Chief Marshal Vijendra Dhanowa said that the IAF has committed to produce 12 squadron of Tejas Mark II aircraft. There are few more, but I will skip them to discuss. Otherwise, video will be too long. Although this machine has not got any external buyers yet, but it is able to fulfill the home need is indeed a big achievement. On March 31st, 2006. Indian Air Force placed an initial order for 20 LCA Tejas from HAL. The order included four twin seat trainers and 16 single seat jets. After that, on December 23, 2010, Indian government placed an additional order for 20 Tejas aircraft from HAL. This order also included four trainers and 16 single seat fighter jets. Later, on January 27, 2021, 
Indian government placed another order for 83 Tejas aircraft. This huge order included 10 additional twin-seat trainers and 73 single-seat MK-1A fighter jets. Recently, on September 16, 2023, Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary mentioned that the Indian Air Force has made a decision to order 97 more Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. We will see more orders from Indian government for upcoming Tejas variants. Now, I will discuss about the potential external buyers. First in my list is Botswana. The Botswana has approached HAL to procure Tejas. Potentially, they are willing to replace their Canada CF-5 due to the aircraft's age and the problem of acquiring needed parts for the maintenance. The Botswana Air Force has previously considered acquiring Gripens, the F-16, KAI T-50, and the Leonardo M-346 before approaching HAL. Second in my list is Egypt. During the Dubai Air Show 2021, Egyptian officials expressed their interest in procuring 70 LCA Tejas aircrafts. They wanted to replace their 100 Chinese-made Hongju JL-8 trainers. In June 2022, India offered to set up the local production facilities for LCA Tejas and other combat helicopters in Egypt. Later in 2023, as per the report, Egypt was seeking around 20 Tejas aircraft for their requirements. Discussions are going on and the deal has not been signed yet, but I am hoping it will be signed soon. Last in my list is Nigeria. On December 7, 2023, HAL reported that Nigeria has expressed interest in acquiring the Tejas aircrafts. Friends, having our own fighter jet is a big deal. Not every country can do that. It certainly is the major achievement for our country. I am really waiting for first external buyer order place for our machines. Each of this machine cost around 250 crores. One point to note is, there is still a major dependency for our fighter jets that is on the jet engine. We haven't been successful so far in this area. We will need to put more effort to remove that dependency as well. There are many talks happening already with different nations to sign a deal for procuring jet engines with full technology transfer. Once it happens, believe me, we can do wonders. So my dear friends, I hope I was able to give you good details about this topic. Now you tell me in comment section what do you think about it. I will see you again with the next video. Till then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.